Hi everybody. How are you guys doing today? Here's my hashtag color of the year art. Uh, today we'll be creating uh, a necklace with a pendant. And this is going to be a talk through. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me. I hope I inspire you and let's get moving. Let me just explain what I've done so far. Oh, first what you'll need is a chain, maybe, these are options, these are maybes, I'm not sure, I have somewhat of an idea in my head. Jump ring and these two pieces here, not sure if we're going to use them. Also I have uh, from the nail art section in the dollar store, these little glass jars. I've taken the top off and I have a previous video, um, one of my most popular videos, my Pinterest nail polish flowers. There's a video on how to make them. There's a short video and a very long video, whichever one you guys prefer. I, I there show how to make all of these flowers there. And then I have this uh, shell. And what I've done with this shell is I've gotten my little sanding pick, I guess it's called, and I've sanded. Let me get you guys closer. I've sanded uh, both ends, this end, the right side and the left side of my pendant in its seashell. Basically, I just sat there doing this. And you'll see the reason why I've done that. But first, I need to and would like to and want to and have the idea to Throw some paint in here that pertain somewhat of the Pantone. And I think I will use um let's just do pink. Or you know what, let's do yeah, let's do pink. Well, we have a lot of pink going on in there, though. How about... I got it. Some blue. As if there were blue water. Well, if there were water in here and it was blue. I threw some in there. Sorry for going off of the camera. And... I'm going to water that down, just grabbing some water. And then let it come out. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this upside down on the side over here. And let whatever wants to drip out, drip out. Meanwhile, I'm going to open this chain. Actually, I don't think I need to open the chain. Let's work with it the way it is. Let's throw in the jump ring. Now, this came on a tacky uh, necklace I took apart. good enough. It'll dry on its own little by little and we're going to add it here. That's my idea. And the way we're going to do that is I'm going to grab some chain, I mean some gate, uh, some wire. It is a 26 gauge wire. I'm going to get more than what I need just for good measure. I'm going to wrap it around this glass.
think I will give it two goes. Yeah, I think we're good. Then I'm going to cross over. And if you like, you can pull a little loop here. Let's do that. So I'm going to pull a little loop on the side so that I can hang something from there if I like later. And what I will use is my round nose pliers, somewhat eyeball measure where I would like that loop. And there we go. And the loop has formed. And now we're going to attach. our bottle to the back or to the front of this seashell. Then I'm going to go that like that. So this went right behind and in front, and what I will do, and all this is free form. And then I'll snip that off. What I do with my tools. And if I were doing this, you know, on my own, I'd bring this further back. But just so that you guys can see it, I don't mind that it's here on the side. Let me see that. I would usually bring that towards the back. But what, what I can do is just lay it flat. There we go. Nice and flat. Here's my little option and opportunity if I like to add a jump ring and something hanging from there. These we didn't end up using. And I have more flowers here as an option. And if you're wondering, this is a polymer clay jewelry box my daughter made for me when she was seven years old. Then we're going to add our flowers here. And I'm going to need some kind of glue, most likely glue gun. That shouldn't take too long to heat up if I can find my extension. Okay. We're going to let this heat up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. Um, I'm going to keep this to the side and the glue gun is all ready. Ready! Oh, and I found a little charm that I want to add. So I already opened, opened the charm. Place the charm in that little loop that we made. There's that. And then we're going to pick some of the colors. Actually, I'm not going to. I'm just going to just going to wing it and go for it. Mm. 
And I'm putting glue on the ends. And then I'm just going to stick it in. And all of these are Pantone colors. And they're all handmade by me. And like I mentioned, I do have a video on them. Let's use a color that I have not used, or let's get some leaves in there. And all I'm doing here off camera is getting my glue and putting it on the stems. And the reason I'm doing it off camera is because I don't want to get it on my mat. And you guys see how I bumped the flower right there? That's okay. I'll just heat gun it. And if for some reason I'm not happy with a certain flower, I'll play with it. I like it there. Throw some more in. I think I'll go for the yellow in a second. And I think we're done. Let's put this one in. Okay, now we're done. How cute is that? We're done with that part. Let's put these back in. Put that back up. Get rid of the glue gun. Um, Throw it on our chain. And I will show you what it looks like around a neck. And as a matter of fact, the neck that you're going to see is a display neck from my gallery that I had at one time. And I have a video coming up on it. How pretty is that? Let me pull it out. How pretty is that? And there's my Pantone color of the year. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I inspired. And in the I cards, which is at the beginning of the video and at the end of the video, you'll see in what is that? The right corner of your screen up on top above a circle with an eye if you click that you'll find a playlist on other projects that I've done and in the bottom in the description you'll find a link to the videos for the Pinterest nail polish flowers and you've seen how sturdy they are if you're new here welcome if you're an old subby, thank you for being an old subby. I really appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up. Share on all platforms, please. And I'll catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.